Hello and welcome to Apple Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a custom post type and how to make custom taxonomies for that custom post type. So there are many ways you can build custom post types and taxonomies, but today I'll show you two methods, which is by code and uh, one by plugin, like uh, the ACF, uh, which is advanced custom field, and CPT custom post type UI. So uh, first of all, let's just install these two plugins. Go to plugins, click on add new. Currently, I want a portfolio post type for uh, my website and I will need custom post types like designation, uh, position or project start date, project end date and uh, similar other fields. So first of all, let's just install CPT. UI, which will uh, help us creating custom post types for our theme. Okay, install custom post type UI. Activate the plugin after installing, and we will need another plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. So go to plugins, click on Add New again. And type ACF or advanced custom fields and press enter. In the search result, uh, this one is the one we are using, uh, which is by WP Engine. Click on install now. There are other versions of advanced custom fields, but this one is the basic one. After installing advanced custom field, click on activate. CPT is already installed and you can see the menu is there. After activating this plugin, you will also see custom fields uh, menu here as well. So custom fields and CPT UI. First of all, we will add a new custom post type which is called portfolio. So click on CPT, click on add post types and Type in your post slug, which is portfolio, plural name, portfolios, singular name, portfolio. There are some um, other things like post type description, menu name, let me name it portfolios. Uh, the menu name means it is it will be uh, appeared in this sidebar for this name. You can also edit all these items like for add new item you can uh, add it add new portfolio, uh, edit edit portfolio new portfolio view item uh, instead of new item it will be view portfolio search portfolio. And similarly, all these other things. Okay, here are some other settings like uh, do you want to make portfolios public? Yes, true. Publicly curable, uh, they will be appeared in the search result on the search page. Show UI, yes. Show in the nav menu, yes. Delete with user. Mm, false because uh, whenever a user build a portfolio, uh, they and they delete their user uh, from our website, then the data will also be deleted, but we will make it false so the data will stay and transfer it on uh, admin, admin's account. Show in REST API. So this is the most important part. If, for example, if you are building an Android app or an iOS app and you want to use that data from your website to be transferred into the app using uh, JSON or Ajax calls, this is uh, the most important. Uh, this will return all these mm, uh, the, these portfolios or the data from this custom post type into uh, a REST API JSON format. You can uh, define the REST API slug, the custom slug. Uh, this will be a default, uh, for example, your uh, post type, normal post will be wp slash v1 slash post. So this one will be WP slash V1 slash portfolio. The default controller is WP REST underscore post underscore controller. 
you can um, name it a different one if you want. Apply namespace has archive. Yes, we will add the portfolio category as well. Exclude from search false. We will include in a search capability post hierarchical. Uh, if you you choose true, then uh, the portfolio post type will behave like pages. But if you make it false, then it will be like a post. So we will leave it as false. Rewrite rule. Custom rewrite slug. You can um, edit the slug. Uh, for example, if your current slug is portfolio and you want to change it to something else, then you can write it here. But by default, it will uh, use the portfolio slug as the rewrite slug. Query var true, custom query var slug, menu position. In the, uh, in the menu, uh, you want to position it uh, for second, third, or fourth. Let's type so it will appear somewhere here. Okay, supports title editor featured image. These three are the default, but you can also exclude one of them if you want. Um, except no custom fields, yes. But we already uh, installed the custom fields plugin, so we do not want this. Comments, yes, we will need comments for this. Yes, we are enabling revisions. For example, you have a you uh, make a mistake and you want to fix it to a later uh, to a previous version, then uh, revisions will help. Author no we get to use post formats no okay taxonomy uh, you want to add taxonomy we can also add uh, these by adding new taxonomies by adding clicking on add or edit taxonomy so let's just generate the post type okay it's generated now we have portfolio as a custom post type now now let's add a taxonomy called portfolio categories so click on add or edit taxonomies let's start the slug we'll be using portfolio underscore cat plurals or singular label okay we will use this uh, portfolio category for the portfolio post type and some other um, custom fields just like we did for the custom post type scroll down to the very bottom and see if there is anything you can add so click on add text on Okay, let's add for a plural name portfolio cat single name portfolio cat and then click on add text on me okay now we have the portfolio here and the portfolio category along with it so let's just add a new portfolio we have a title we have a description we have uh, portfolio visibility, uh, publish immediately, URL, template, portfolio cats. Let's add a new category like business and add here business cards. Like you are a printing press and you are show your portfolio uh, as business cards. Now, we will uh, add some custom fields, for example, the project start date, project end date, or uh, project year. So go to the back end again and come to custom fields. Click on add new. Here, uh, first let's just add a new field called project year. Add a new field called project coordinator. Add a new field project ending. So let's just add these three first. 
Facebook uh, title will be Portfolio. Save changes and come to your uh, new post. Let's publish this first and let's just edit it by refreshing the same page. And let's see, there are our custom fees. So uh, there are no custom fees because we did not choose any post type mentioned here. Uh, these are the fleets, but let's add a condition like post type is equal to portfolio and click on save changes. Let's go to the edit page again and refresh it. And we have three more fields called portfolio here. Let's say 2006, which is and project end date. So it was like one. So featured image go to desktop and select an image add a portfolio category business and click on update. We have a portfolio. Here. So if you click on view, you will see it on the front end, but this is a single .php. If you want to uh, make a new custom template for the post type portfolio, then you will have to go to your um, theme file. Let me just quickly move to the theme file. I have a folder, but press test. Go to contents, themes, and I think it's 20 by 2. Let's see which theme we are using right now. There is themes. We are using 2022. So go to 2022. You cannot make changes uh, for this theme uh, because if you update the theme, then these changes will go. Uh, so you have to build a new child theme. But it's just for uh, showing you how you can do this. Uh, I'll be using the same. Okay, in the index. Let's find if we have the this single condition. It's using HTML. Let's just change it to 2020 because we have, or you can use Astra. Let's activate Astra and go to the Astra tab. Teams Astra and single. So copy the single here and name it portfolio after single. Like single dash portfolio and now open it with editor. And let's see if we can access this if we access the portfolio. So, echo portfolio single template. Save it. Go to the website. This is the portfolio page. And see, uh, we have single portfolio template. But if we go to any other post like Hello World, which is a normal post, and you can see there is uh, no portfolio link or test. Okay, now just come to the portfolio again. And, cards. and let's make some changes like uh, we added the custom fields so we will have to show them here okay first let's remove this line which we added it was just for checking whether we are accessing the right file or not now come to the content loop 
and here we can access the uh, the custom fields let me show you a sample uh, like we added a custom field called projects so here we will access it using get field echo project year dot get field project year let's see if it works like this project year but get field is not working ACS get field The field and the field name. So let's just copy this, add it here, close this statement, and the field project year. Let's save it, refresh. Mouse still not there. Let's go to the custom fields and see the Field name, location key, portfolio, edit, project year, project underscore year, underscore instead of dash, okay we have the project here, now let's add a new line, Call the new custom fields. The two custom fields project year, project end date, and project coordinator. Project underscore end underscore date. I think project underscore end date and project coordinator. So this one will be project coordinator save the file and the refresh on front end so we have these three things above here uh, you can also add them anywhere you want like above the comments below the contents above the title or even in the sidebar so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos. Thank you.